Hi, welcome back to the channel and today we are making something not spooky but it's Halloween-y. We're going to make like a like a Halloween garland for above the door, the front door. So I made this wreath a couple of years ago. Beautiful, eh? Yeah, I made this wreath a couple of years ago. Uh, I need to glue him back on, he keeps misbehaving and this time i'm wanting something to go above the door so you'll have that then the halloween thing so it's full of ribbons leaves all sorts now my phone's ringing so yeah what we're gonna do is i've bought this very similar to a pool noodle but it's actually a radiator insulation thing um, but yeah, as you can see, Cookie actually has playing with her with this, and she grabbed it. But it doesn't matter. So this is what I'm going to use above the door, and I'm going to show you the things I've got to use. So I have a selection of leaves and little lanterns. Dorothy grows these in the garden. These are plastic, obviously. I've got some ribbons to use, I've got some twisty wood to use, um, all sorts of little bits and yeah, these. And if I fancy it I've got some of these to put on to match the wreath. So we'll just play it by it, I've got no actual plan in my head, I'm just going to take it as it comes. Um, I did start threading these yesterday onto florist wire i got these from ebay dirt cheap there's thousands in there i'm not sure how many it says oh 300 pieces i think there's more though because there's loads see i've done double ones i've done single ones Ooh. i've even got those so yeah let's just play it by it see how it goes and see what we make so to start with what I have done is I've measured the width that I want it so I'm going to cut there I was going to cut this in half but I don't know now I think I'm just going to just use it like that so it'll be against the thing I'll, I don't know I might shave a bit off the back to make it a bit more flat but like I say making it up as I go along so what I have decided what I'm going to do is wrap twine around this this is just a garden twine and um, just gonna wrap it around just to add something to it just in case there's a little gap between the leaves and you know and it'll help tuck leaves into it as well so I'm gonna wrap that around it I'm gonna cut that I might just shave a little bit off and then I'm gonna make two holes for the hooks so I have my hooks here so then it'll just hook over and hopefully that'll work Okay. So what I have done is I've just made this little hook out of some wire just to feed it through there so I can feed the twine through it. I'm going to do just feed them through and then twist the wire on and then just as I go I'll just see how it is so I'm just going to play it by ear now I'm just going to put them through on the on the 
I'm just thread the leaves through on the wire and uh, just make it up as I go along. Let's see how it goes. So this is it so far. I'm just going to build the leaves up all along and then what I'm going to do is I'm then going to start putting ribbon on it and just add some other little decorations. Here is a little update. I'm not liking it as I'm going but I'm just waiting for the end result so we shall keep going and see how it turns out but I'm glad I put this twine on because I'm managing to loop the wires and stuff under it because I am using a hot glue gun but you know I like to wire it on as well because hot glue and foam you know but there we are so far So a little update on the garland, it's looking a bit more full, I am now putting these little twisty twigs in it, okay see I've got some there, some there, so I'll just keep going with it. So that's it so far, so imagine it above a door, so I'm just put some more twisty sticks in, some more ribbons, I'm putting them on wires, like so. So we'll just keep going. So it is done, I'm going to stop there because I don't want to overdo it. I ended up taking the ribbons off because they just didn't suit it. I love these little lanterns. So yeah, I'm impressed. So now it's just go and hang it on the door. But before I do that, I would just like to say thank you for watching this vlog. It means a lot to us. Thank you to have subscribed. Um, check out the Patreon, check out Instagram, Facebook. We do have a Facebook page where people can get together, have a laugh. And um, yeah, really hope you enjoyed this vlog. Give it a go, make one yourself. I will show you a picture of it above the door. So yeah, thanks for watching and here's your picture. Bye.